All right. So this is my Razer SX500. Um, I've done a couple mods to it. Um, only mods that I've done to it so far are going to be tires, um, grips, brakes, handlebars. I got a speedometer on there. And that's about it for mods. I do have a 13 um, tooth front sprocket on here. Um, this thing right now uh, with the stock batteries, this thing does about 18 miles an hour. So I got a 48 volt battery that I'm going to throw in this thing and run it on the stock motor controller and see if this thing has any more power, any more torque, uh, definitely more speed, but yeah, I'm going to throw a LiPo battery in there. So it'll be way lighter, hopefully more power. And yeah, so let me grab that. All right, so we're gonna open this thing up. So I got this thing on Amazon for I believe a hundred and like eighty dollars, and it's pretty small. So here it is. It's very small compared to the original batteries. It's also very light, so 48 volts, 10 amp hour, um, BTR, so BTR is, seems to be a pretty good brand, so this will be my first battery from them, but that should be enough power to power this thing. And in the box, the charger, so it comes with this plug, pretty much I'm just going to wire this plug straight up to the controller on the Razer and should be ready to go. All right, so in the meantime, I'm gonna plug this thing and get it charging up. Let me show you something. Now comes the seal lesson lead acid batteries. Look at that, that was very easy. Look at the size difference. There's a massive weight difference, but man, that's like the size of one of them. So, even though this is very, very light, I am gonna try to put it towards the back. That way it's just a slight bit easier to do wheelies and stuff like that. So, huh. It would fit pretty good right there. So this tab right here, I'm gonna to try to bend it down with these small pliers. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Then the battery should just fit in like this. Very nice. Some foam to throw in there. Almost the perfect size already. It shouldn't be going anywhere. Alright, so then we've got these leads that we're gonna attach to this and then that will plug right into that battery. So I'm probably just gonna twist them together because that's easy and it'll work. Alrighty, it's wired up. So switch off and plug it in. Plugged in. Alright. Turn it on. The lights up here on the controller are on. Lift it up. Well that definitely sounds a bit faster. So I'm gonna get it all tidied up, throw the plastics back on and uh 
take this thing for a rip. So my very first impressions of it is, it is light. It is so much lighter. Probably like, I don't know, maybe 30 pounds because those SLA batteries are so heavy. Um, but it pops up too quick. I believe this is the best upgrade that you can do to a razor. For cheap, that is so for the price so yeah way lighter way more power more range better in every way so we're gonna try to get a little top speed here 12 14 16 17 18 check behind us 20, 21, 22, going slight downhill right now, 23, 24, stop right here, okay, so 24 was our top speed, yeah, wheelie's way better than... Wheelie's way better than stock, more power, way lighter, way easier to get up. So yeah, I definitely recommend it because it was cheap and I'm actually going to be pairing it with a uh, 48 volt 1800 watt Vevor motor and controller kit. 